Hello internet and welcome to Merlin's Archer Adventures. I'd like, if I may, to talk to you briefly about an archery training technique that I'm hoping will improve your archery accuracy. Now that is the concept of aim small, miss small. Now there isn't a guy out there on the, on the internet making videos for YouTube that hasn't covered this subject of um, aim small, miss small. And the reason why there are so many videos on the subject is, a, is the fact that it works. It's, it's a real, uh, real concept and it works really well. It's helped me and I know it's helped quite a few other people. So I'm gonna share it with you and hopefully it's gonna help you too. But what that's gonna do, it should improve your, your accuracy and focus. And uh, by aiming small and missing small, what you're doing is you're reducing your area of error. Now we're all human and we all make mistakes and nobody's a machine and um, we've all got an area of error in our archery. Now, the best way to describe it is if, let's say you've got a target at uh, 30 meters, nice big colorful uh, archery target, you're focusing on the, the whole of the target. You, ju you just wanna hit the target. So what you're doing, you're looking at the whole target and you're shooting. Yes, you are gonna hit the target. Yes, you're probably even gonna get a few in the middle every now and again, but you've got a really large area of error, which means you are gonna get a few misses. So what do you do? Reduce the size of the target that you're trying to hit. So instead of trying to hit the whole target, let's reduce it down to the size of the gold. Your area of error is gonna shrink down with you, uh, with, this, with the target shrinking. So you've got this, this whole gold that you're looking at. Yes, you are gonna hit, hit a few gold, you're gonna hit a few center of the gold, but you're gonna pepper a few around the outside of the gold as well. So let's reduce it further. Let's reduce it to that 10 ring. So all you're focusing on is that 10 ring. Your area of error is reduced again. So all your arrows should fall within, should, <laughs> it doesn't always work that way, but should all fall within the gold. You're trying to hit the 10, your area of error is a little bit bigger than the 10, so you are gonna get some of the arrows in the gold. It's it's a very simple concept, but it's it's, it's often overlooked. Um, first time I think I heard about it was in, um, in the Mel Gibson film, um, I think it's called The Patriot. He, he talks about uh, aim small in that, and um, it, it does work. The smaller the thing you can look at, the smaller your area of error. Now, um, I'm sure you've all heard of me talking about a chap called Byron Ferguson. He was, he was kind enough to do a, a video intro for us not so long back. Um, he has a few training techniques where, where wherever he is, he's trying to focus on the smallest thing he can see. So if he's talking to someone one-on-one, -on -one, he's focusing on their pupil or a small blemish or, or something, but the smallest thing he can find when looking at that person. When he's out for a walk, um, he looks at stop signs, he looks at the center of, um, of, of the O in the stop sign. Um, when I'm out, I'm looking, I, the thing I like to do is look at number plates and I try and focus on the screw on the number plate. So the smallest thing you can see to look at, train your brain and your body to look at small things. Um, just, just the smaller the thing you can look at, the, the smaller your area of error will be and the more accurate your shot will be. Um, I'm trying to think of another example. Um, when I'm out on a field course, on a really nice uh, 3D course, I'm standing behind some, some hot shot and he puts a really nice arrow right in the kill zone, exactly where I want it to be. I love it because I can focus on his arrow. It gives me something really small, really definite to, to focus on and I can bring all my focus onto that arrow and hopefully put it exactly where I want it to go. So I hope you found um, that useful. I hope, it's, I hope it's made sense. I hope you found it useful and I hope it helps improve your, your archery accuracy. Well, anyway, you take care, shoot straight, and I'll see you on the internet. Bye bye. Okay, so what we're gonna be having a little look at today is uh, bear shaft tuning uh, for your traditional bow. Now there isn't really uh, a week that goes past where I don't get a message or 